Josh, we sadly announced this week that you're moving to Yorkshire, originally on a championship line to the end of the season, then a three-year deal. Must be mixed emotions for you after the move. Yeah, definitely. It's uh, 100% mixed emotions. Um, I've absolutely loved my time being a bear and, and being here at Edgebaston, um, but at the same time, I'm really excited for the opportunity to go a bit further north, um, up to Edney and yeah, represent Yorkshire. So, yeah, definitely mixed emotions, mate. It's certainly been a special venue for you here, hasn't it? Yeah, you just look around, it's... Uh, a really special ground. I remember coming back to when I was on trial, with, you know, first time you kind of go in the middle, whatever you're like, you know, it's, it is a really special place and you think about all the um, games you've been involved in here and yeah, it's, I definitely describe Edge Baston as special. Is there any special moments you're going to look back on or any special games? Because your last one in the week, that, that wicket that's been now, is one of the best of Vitality Blast this season. Any, anything else that kind of comes to your mind? Oh, I think it's definitely hard to pick one, one memory, but I think reflect back to that um, 2014 when I was on trial. Like, you know, when you try, I don't know if you're going to even, how long you're going to be here for a week or, or how long it's going to be. And then I remember making my debut in actually not too dissimilar from this time of year. Um, last T20 game, we needed to win to go through and some other results to go away. And I played and, and we won and ended up qualifying and then obviously going on to win it. So, you know, you think about that. Um, so, you know, championship debut here was, was memorable for different reasons. We played in a wicket that was... Uh, good for the batters and I remember you know well, like one for 160 on your championship debut so you know you look back and there's you know I've some some good memories and, and some not so good ones but all of it you know it's been really enjoyable um, being involved here at Edgebaston and representing the Bears. You've had a real good connection with the fans as well the members must have been giving you a lot of good messages since they found out. Yeah it's it actually really nice to, to see all the messages on social media from all the all the fans and the members um, I think you know hopefully what I've done over the last five seasons, I can see, you know, whenever you go on the pitch, you always give your best for the club, um, while also, like, really enjoying it and, and being out there. So, um, so yeah, it's been really nice to have that relationship with everyone here for, every, you know, over the last five years. Everyone's really friendly. If you see them around the ground to speak to, so, yeah, you know, I definitely miss all those as well. And you spoke to the lads straight after the win in the week. What did they say to you when you broke the news to them in the changing rooms? Yeah, similar, like, just, you know, all really nice and, and complimentary. I think a lot of the lads understand that, you know, although it's obviously sad to be leaving, it's, it's something you know I've got to do at this stage of my career is to go and hopefully play a bit more, a bit more cricket. So, so yeah, you know, you look at some of the friendships you made over the over the years. So, like, I mean, going back to when I was first here, lads like Johnny Webb and, and Freddie Coleman, right through to the last three or four years. You know, of Sam Hain and obviously Al, uh, Ollie Hannon Dolby, um, Ed Pollock, Boyd. Like, literally, I don't think there's anyone in the change room I don't get on with. So, that'll probably be the hardest thing is. Um, you know, not being, not sharing change room with the lads, but equally, you know, I'm moving up to a new change room and get a, get a whole new set of mates, so that's really exciting as well. It's fair to say, you must be pretty excited with the group that we've got here. Hopefully, you'll be, we'll be joining the county championship first division next year. Yeah, obviously, um, definitely hope the boys can, can do the job and, and get back into Division 1. Um, so, yeah, it'll be, obviously be weird if or when I, I do um, play against Warwickshire and play against... Well, my mate's already been a few jokes about how Polly said he's going to just hit me out the ground, but uh, we'll just wait, wait and see. Really, yes. Um, like, and like anything in professional sport, there's always these little funny things that, that come up, but you just got to, you know, do your job and and put in a professional performance. And you've had a brief spell at Yorkshire already. What did you learn from that, and what excites you about that? Yeah, it was actually really enjoyable. Um, first of all, to get chucked in a Roses game was brilliant, and and especially to be involved in a win. But more just. Um, that game in particular, you know, share changing room, the likes of Joe Root and Johnny Bairstow and Kane Williamson. That was, as as I've actually been very lucky here, you know, with Belly, Trotty, Jeets, even about some of the overseas players like Brendan McCullum and stuff. You know, that's they're really Stony, obviously. Yeah, they're like really special memories. And I think to be moving to a club like Yorkshire, where they they've got those really big players, um, and obviously a big club, hopefully, um, you can help them compete in the trophies and you know get some silver at the club.